Hi, I'm Gerardo from AWS. Hi, I'm Anup from IPC, and this is my architecture. So Anup, I see that we have a voice streaming analytics architecture here. Uh, why did you build this? What problem is this solving? Basically, IPC has a huge voice network, global voice network with thousands of lines, uh, right? Mm -hmm. And those, tra uh, those lines are used by traders across the globe to communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. So we, we enable voice communications through our Connexus Unity platform, OK? Yeah. Now, when traders are talking to each other, uh, if they want the discussion to be transcribed, right, uh, and they subscribe to that solution, then uh, basically this architecture comes into play, mm -hmm. okay? Within this architecture, what we do is, uh, from the IPC session border controllers, we send a line into Chime, uh, yeah. AWS Chime SDK. And from Chime SDK, the uh, voice data stream goes into Kinesis, mm -hmm. AWS Kinesis. Kinesis helps us buffer this voice into five second chunks. Yeah. Then we send it over into Transcribe. Mm -hmm. But in parallel, what happens is as soon as the voice starts streaming into, into the solution, uh, we also run an event bridge uh, so that there is a lambda we can run on the back of it. So it's kind of all event-driven architecture, basically. Yeah. So, so on the one hand, voice is going into Kinesis streams. On the other hand, uh, event bridge comes into play, triggers a lambda. It extracts some metadata from the SIP connection. Mm -hmm. and uh, sends it into the transcribed solution. The reason it does that is, uh, you know, at the end of the day, there are thousands of lines on the mm -hmm. left-hand side of the architecture. So we have to make sure the, the right conversation gets uh, uh, made available to the right customer. You know, <laughs> we, uh, security is obviously key. Uh, security, customer privacy, all that. Uh, aspects yeah. of uh, trading and voice communication is key for us. So the Lambda does its job, feeds some information into Transcribe. What Transcribe does is it uh, obviously generates the text for that five second chunk, which was buffered by Kinesis, and uh, passes the data on to Kinesis data streams. Mm -hmm. Now from Kinesis data streams, we use uh, Amazon Kinesis Firehose to extract that data, push it into uh, S3 as parquet files. OK, so the data ends up in S3 buckets. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as data lands in S3 buckets, we've got an AWS Lambda, uh, which, which uh, enriches this data. It goes and pulls information from various um, third-party systems, internal IPC systems, okay. uh, and enriches the data and pushes into our MongoDB Atlas. Obviously, once data lands in Atlas, it's ready to be consumed by applications. So once data reaches Mongo Atlas, we are able to show this on IPC portal. Which is, uh, which is a web application used by all our customers. Uh, so, so the transcription is visible on the portal. Near real time, it takes about 15 seconds, 20 seconds delay between what you say and it showing up on the portal. Yeah. Same data is exposed through an API gateway uh, to, so that we can build uh, trader desktop applications on top of it. And some of these desktop applications can run on our Connexus Unigy turrets. Uh, so, so the Unigy platform supports applications. Uh, the API gateway comes into picture. Or API gateway from AWS actually comes into picture. And the best part is this whole architecture is infinitely scalable and uh, it's really robust. Mm -hmm. So, so saved saved us a lot of time to build this and uh, is is uh, extremely scalable at a very, very. Uh, Good uh, price point, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah good. that's good. So the way I see it is, you have all these voice connections. Are they uh, uh, SIP trunks? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so the, the the voice is being streamed through the platform, and at the end of it, you have the data insights that yeah. are consumed by the traders. Is that correct, right? Correct. Okay. Trading applications. Yeah, and it, it's expected to make the trader workflow more efficient. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so. Tell me about that efficiency. So, what are what are the benefits that your customers are getting from this platform? So, obviously, on the one hand, there is uh, the note, the notes feature, which which is important. So, the trader is able to see, or what did I tell the guy yesterday, or like half an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he or she is able to have a look at portal and see what was transcribed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there is the compliance side of it as well. Compliance would obviously want to keep track of everything that is being discussed on on those thousands of lines. Mm -hmm. So, so it. it it is expected uh, to make compliance life much more easier as we build more and more apps. Okay. Uh, there is compliance benefits. And uh, obviously, when you feed an order into an order management system, there are legislations that you have to feed it within a certain time range. Yeah. So, so this can help with that as well, because the conversation is about buying or selling something. Mm -hmm. uh, we can extract what was bought, what was sold, how much was bought, how much was sold. That, that information is in the transcribed text. We can extract it, and we can pass it on to 
uh, appropriate systems for that. So, so lots of use cases that this solves for, and the ultimate goal is to make make traders' life easier and more efficient. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. So, what's in the future for this architecture? So, if you uh, now, from an IPC perspective and from our customers' perspective, you see. Uh, some of our large uh, customers will have hundreds of traders using IPC, Unigy day, all day, mm -hmm. right? Uh, all that discussion, if they transcribe it and put it into an S3 bucket, you can imagine we could run a lot of, uh, build a lot of applications on top of it. Mm -hmm. We could build applications to, uh, of various types, you know, to, to maybe monitor uh, whether the trader was trading on the right uh, mm -hmm. instruments at the right time, whether, you know, the, the price points that they were trading was the, mo the best possible price points. There could be uh, analysis about hey, what could be done better next day. Uh, so uh, we could apply AI on top of it for the customer if, if they needed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's quite powerful. So, so the data that it collects is, is uh, extremely useful and mm -hmm. uh, it opens a world of possibilities for our customers and for IPC. Yeah, and this sort of data wasn't available until you used a transcribing service. Correct, correct. Yeah. So this sort of data was not available uh, that easily to be configured and made, uh, you know, to be used within like five, 10 seconds, yeah. 15 second delay. Uh, until we use the AWS platform. Mm -hmm. And obviously, AWS uh, platform has been extremely robust, and we've had really good uh, experience using it. There's a lot of documentation out there, so we're able to kind of uh, train our developers very mm -hmm. quickly. Our testers, they, they've been able to train quite quickly to use the use various solutions and test uh, what, what the outputs are from the API. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I know it's great to see how you've built a voice streaming uh, architecture. You're using some AI services, all to improve your customer experience. Thank you so much for sharing this architecture with us.